Welcome to the Redefinition Daily with Ozana, a daily inspiration for a better new life. Hello friends, good morning and welcome to the Redefinition Daily with your friend and brother Hosanna. We thank God for a new day and a beautiful weekend starting today. Let us always remember to give thanks to the Almighty because He is Jehovah. He is our God, our provider, our sustainer and our keeper. We welcome you this morning. Join me as we pray. Father, we bless your name. We worship you for whom you are. We thank you for the beginning of the week. You've been so faithful. You provided for us up to this moment. Return the glory, the praise, and adoration to you. Father, we worship your majesty this morning. We ask, may your name alone be exalted. Blessed be the name of our Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Join me as we worship God with this song you are jehovah we shall be right back god bless you you are jehovah you are jehovah you are the mighty man in battle you are jehovah You're the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You're the mighty man of war. You are a Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You're the mighty man in battle. You are Welcome back. Hope you are blessed with that song. You are Jehovah. He is our Jehovah. He is our mighty man of war. We continue to worship him. God bless you. We, we are continuing our series, Five Characters of Those That Do Great Things. Five Characters of Those That Do Great Things. And so far, our text remains First Samuel chapter 16. On verse 18 down. First Samuel chapter 16. On verse 18 down. Then one of his servants said, answered and said, Look, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, who is skillful in playing, a mighty man of valor, a man of war, prudent in speech and a handsome person and the lord is with him and the lord is with him so far we have said that every man created by god was wired to do great things every man created by god was created to do great things we have been empowered to do great things we also said that david number one character was found in him was that he was skillful at whatever he does and as a result was always doing great things when he was leading and taking care of the father's sheep the bible says the lion and the bear come and with his bare hands he killed them 
great things. Number two, we said if we must do great things, we must be people of valor, people of quality, which enable us to encounter danger with calmness. We say people of valor are positive risk takers. They are self-sacrificial and always determined to see the positive outcome of every matter they are involved in. People of valor always determined to see the end of every matter they are involved in and it always ends positively for them. Today we shall be looking at the two more characteristics or two more characters of those that do great things from our text. The thought that we can find there is that David was a man of war. David was a man of war. So number three, we must be people that are ready to fight. We must be men or people of war. The, the Bible says in the book of, of uh, Matthew chapter 11, from verse 12 following, Matthew chapter 11, from verse 12 following, the, the Bible records that says that ever since the days of John the Baptist, that the kingdom of God suffered violence. So as from the day of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and those that are violent take it by force. So what that simply means is that if you want to do great things, you must be ready to fight. Like we said, there are a lot of things that, that fight against our families, nothing that fight against our destiny, nothing that stand as a hindrance. The devil is so powerfully planning and executing his, his plans against us wage a constant war and battle against us and if we must do great things we must overcome these wars we will never be poor that we 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 chicken out or run away from fighting many people today the reason why they are not doing great things is because they run away from their war every one of us have a, a portion of war that we must fight in Luke chapter 16 and verse 16 the Bible says that the law and the prophets were until John Jesus is speaking about the kingdom of heaven he says since that time the kingdom of God has been preached and everyone is pressing into it everyone is pressing into the kingdom so if you are not ready to press into your destiny by fighting and, 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 and taking possession of what belongs to you, then you, you will remain useless. We must be people that are ready to fight. We must fight to do great things. In Genesis chapter 27 from verse 40, uh, Isaac speaking to his son Esau after Jacob had taken all the blessings from him. Isaac said to him, look, you will serve your brother every day. Esau said, please, no more blessing for me, even if it's one. And the father said unto him, the only thing I have to say is that you will serve your brother every day of your life. You will struggle to make it. You will struggle to eat. You will struggle in everything you do. And you will serve your brother. You shall be under him. But one thing is this. The day that you are restless, The day that you feel and tell yourself, look, this war must end, this struggle must end, and you fight your battle, then you will break that yoke off your neck. Breaking that yoke is not going to be easy, but you have to be restless. Brethren, some of us, we are at ease in Zion. We are at ease in Zion. And as a result, the yoke upon our neck placed by the enemy, yokes upon our neck placed by circumstances and situation yokes upon our neck placed by war it is still pressing us down and we are not ready to press into it so the, the jacob said isaac said to, 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 to esau when you are restless the day you tell yourself i am tired of this you will break the yoke off your neck so people that are ready to do great things are people that face their circumstances head bound and are ready to break that yoke out of their neck they are people of war and remember the bible says that the the weapon of our warfare are not carnal 
but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Yeah, they are mighty, mighty through God to be pulling down of strongholds. So we must be people that are ready, ready to fight our way by the help of God, by the help of God. To, to bring to pass his desires in our lives. I, I tell you, if we sit down and think that God, yes, he has done everything beautiful, the enemy is always ready to take away from us what God has given us. So we must be ready to fight. You fight for your happiness. You fight for your joy. You fight for your family togetherness. You fight for your family progress. You fight for your financial breakthrough. You must have a way to fight. You need, you need to fight the war. Fight the war. Hallelujah. And, and number three, number four this morning, the Bible says that David was a prudent man. He was a prudent man. We, we, we must ask with great care and skillful planning in our existence. Many people today are not prudent. They are not prudent in whatever they are doing. People, they, some people are so careless and wasteful. You, you, you give them something that you feel should empower them and strengthen them for tomorrow, but out of carelessness, they lose it, they waste it off. And at the end, they see come back to square one and as a result, not doing great things. But David was prudent. He has a skillful planning in his DNA, in, in his existence. Whatever you give to David, he will manage it well. He, he, he was prudent in his family finance. He was prudent in his actions. He was prudent in his speech. Our, our actions must be marked with wisdom and sagacity. Praise the Lord. We must be practically wise cautious and careful of the consequences of our actions in proverbs chapter 14 and from verse 15 the bible speaking to king solomon said we, we we must be very conscious we must be very careful proverbs chapter 14 and verse 15 he said the simple believes every word the simple believes every word but the prudent considers well his steps before the prudent man takes any step, he will consider it. He, he doesn't just leave his house to attend anything anyhow. He, he must be careful, very careful to understand that wherever he's going to, with something that will add to his life positively. Praise the Lord. Many of us, we are not prudent. We are not prudent with our time. We are not prudent with our talent. We are not prudent with our speech. We, we talk anyhow. And that is why most often time we, we confess negatively. We confess negatively. God speaking through the same King Solomon in Proverbs chapter 6 and from verses, verses 6 to 11. He said, he say, go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. Which having no captain or overseer or ruler provides her supplies in the summer and gathers her food in the harvest. The Bible talking about how prudent the ants are. So we should go to them to learn that they know how to gather and provide for the rainy day. They know how to gather and provide for the rainy day. And they don't have a ruler. They don't have anybody that directs them. They don't have anybody that advises them. But look at us here. Our Father in heaven advises us every day, every morning to the praise and glory of his name so we should be more prudent we should be more prudent we should be accountable to whatever we are doing in life we will continue to cry because we are not careful with the blessings that god has given unto us so this morning if we must do great things in this year 2021 we must be people of war we must be people that are prudent in whatever they are doing. It's my prayer today that the God of heaven and earth shall give us great sagacity, authority, and dominion that we will fight every war, every battle that comes before us. We will not shy away 
from fighting and confronting the things that confront us. Like David, we come before Goliath in the name of the Lord Almighty because we know that our Father will deliver us from all 